Hi, my name is Christian Posta, and I'm the Global Field CTO at Solo.io. And in this quick demo, we're going to take a look at standing up a MCP server and securing it with the MCP authorization spec. And if you need a quick refresher on that, if you go to the model context protocol spec and take a look at the authorization, you can see that there are a number of expectations for using OAuth and what the clients are supposed to do in terms of dynamically registering um, and dynamically discovering various uh, OAuth metadata and requesting the right tokens to be able to call a MCP server. Now, in this quick demo, I'm going to look at a, uh, a project called um, KAgent. Well, actually, we'll take a look at um, KMCP. So KMCP is a command line tool and generally set of tools for very quickly building um, MCP servers. So you can, you can take a look at uh, KMCP. We're gonna roughly follow this. Uh, but KMCP will set up the structure of the code for you. But what we wanna do is a lot of the MCP authorization spec has to do with, on the server side at least, has to do with exposing the right metadata. And what we're gonna do is uh, exposing right metadata and returning to unauthorized returning unauthorized calls a certain way. So returning 401 with specific header and so on. But we can make that a lot easier with a project uh, or, a, or a gateway component called Agent Gateway. Agent Gateway allows us to configure off on the gateway side so it handles all of the MCP authorization stuff for you. So let's take a look. We're going to um, run KMCP, we're gonna in, init this new project. We'll call it Hello World MCP. Um, this is a live demo MCP server. Uh, that's me. Um, uh, yeah, at solo.io. Uh, so if we go to Hello World now, the project that we just created, we can take a look at this, uh, at this project and, uh, and take a look at the structure of the code. Maybe we can make the text a little bigger. Uh, we'll close this. You can see that it set up the structure of this Python project. I could also do Golang, support Golang, uh, adding support for Java and, uh, and others. Go to the open source project uh, right here. MCP, go to the open source project if you want to get involved and, and uh, give suggestions for additional things to do. But um, you can see the structure of the, uh, of the code here. We created this uh, echo tool and we can actually run this. So if we do KMCP run, this will run the, uh, the project for us. And it will, oops, looks like we have a um, previous process running. Let's see, so now it should be able to run this and, uh, and it's set up MCP Inspector for us. It's gonna run it as a standard in uh, MCP server. If we connect to it, give it a second, we can see it responds. Click on tools and uh, list our tools and we can see our echo tool that we just created. All right, so KMCP is really good at standing up MCP servers um, uh, really fast. And then from here, you can take it, the K part in KMCP is take it and deploy it into Kubernetes and manage it and run it in Kubernetes as a remote HTTP service. Uh, we're going to take a look at what Agent Gateway can do here. So let's go ahead and, uh, and stop this. We will come back here to my GitHub. To, uh, we're going to grab a, a sample configuration file. Um, and we can share this in the notes. So we're gonna take this configuration file. It's a fairly simple configuration file. And uh, what it does is for agent gateway, it says, hey, we're gonna to route to our backend MCP server that we just created. Uh, it runs a standard in, oops. Oh. It runs a standard in, we'll contact it on, on this path. 
and at this port. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll do agent agent gateway config. We'll pass in the config that we just created and agent gateway will come up. And now we're gonna manually start MCP inspector. And all right, we go here, let's get out of here. But we'll go back to localhost, what was it, six, that. All right, but now instead of connecting up by standard in, what we're gonna do is connect up over HTTP. 3000 is the right port, but uh, hello is the right path. And we'll connect up to the HTTP or into the MCP server remotely, All right? So now we're remote, connecting over HTTP, list the tools, same tool that we saw when we ran it standard in, uh, and we can run it. Now, the last thing what we want to do is set up the MCP auth authorization spec. And uh, to do the Agent Gateway makes it very easy to, uh, to do this. I'll, I'll show you here. I'll we'll grab this part uh, for the demo. Take a look at that. We're going to use uh, Key Cloak as our auth provider. So if I come back here, let's see if I, uh, oh, it's already up. All right, so we'll go look at 7.80, already logged in. If we look at the, the realms, we should see the MCP realm. Look at our clients, we have a, just the out of the box default clients. Uh, but we just configured or we're going to configure Agent Gateway to do a few things for us. It's going to implement the OAuth, or sorry, the MCP authorization spec for us. Uh, so we can still contact at hello slash MCP, but we can specify where the tokens should be coming from. And if we don't have tokens, then, you know, challenge the client with the 401 according to the spec. Client will go do its dynamic client registration stuff according to the spec, which by the way, you're listening is uh, not really all that applicable in enterprise environments. I'll be doing a lot more video and content on, on that. Um, but bear with me. This just exposes the MCP server following the existing spec at the moment. Um, but so you can see if we add this uh, MCP authentication piece that we can connect up to Keycloak and, um, you know, implement the part of the spec that will let the client go do its thing to get the correct tokens. So if we come back and take a look, I think Agent Gateway auto reloads the config and it looks like it did in this case. Now, if we come back to our MCP inspector and we're gonna disconnect from the standard in, or sorry, no, that, that was the remote uh, call, but we're gonna reconnect now. And when we reconnect, the MCP specter, inspector is going to send a request out to the MCP server. Agent Gateway is going to see that and say, no, 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 you don't have any access tokens. You need to authenticate. So let's click reconnect. And here you see MCP inspector went through the, the whole MCP auth spec and um, got the 401, grabbed the protected resource metadata, found the authorization server, dynamically registered a client, requested a key um, and now not well now, now we're in that part where we're, we're going to request the key and it's asking me to log in so I'll log in with a test user uh, okay, let's, let's actually see it so don't mess it up test pass okay now we're going to sign in and following the OAuth flow uh, we're going to it's going to ask if we want to grant privileges yes we will and once we do that the client is able to get a access token and call to the MCP server through Agent Gateway. Uh, like I said, following the MCP spec, but now we have authentication and authorization. We can call the MCP server, uh, click into to echo uh, hello demo, and, uh, and, and it works. And from here, we can go to Agent Gateway and configure far more about uh, various security and routing, um, uh, policies that we want to enforce on the gateway. 
So I highly recommend taking a look at uh, Agent Gateway. Uh, Agent Gateway is an open source project built in Rust that supports a lot of different agentic use cases, either calling LLMs, calling MCP servers, as you can see, A to A agents, and, uh, and so on. But uh, yeah, go take a look at uh, Agent Gateway and go take a look at KMCP. Thanks.